This fatal four-way match will determine who will challenge Tommaso Ciampa for his U.S. Championship. Of all four competitors, Ciampa must be hoping to get his hands on the superstar that's been pushing his buttons on social media as of late. First things first, that big talking superstar will have to handle his business against three other superstars who are just as hungry to contend for Ciampa's title. Stop in the ring! Just after the drive set up in the corner of the ring. Knife edge chop! In the corner, and look at this. Chops and rights and chops and rights. Treating him like a heavy bag. Oh, foot just stomping down. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Mistake made by MVP. Left hook. Backfest. Nasty. He's feeling it. Continues to settle. Here's The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the WWE United States Championship.
one of the most controversial, ruthless superstars in recent WWE history. Introducing the challenger from Calcutta, India, weighing in at 244 pounds, stunning. And intro Tomasa Ciampa has overcome more physical setbacks than almost any other superstar in WWE, and tonight he'll have to overcome his greatest challenge yet to defend his U.S. championship. The challenger has been targeting Champa's injuries on social media, and tonight he'll target them inside the ring in one of WWE's most grueling matches. Two fearless superstars willing to push their bodies to the limit for a title. This is what Monday Night Raw is all about. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Champa's attack is thwarted. Running knee lift. Attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Champa avoids damage. Oh, anus knee to the face. Champa is in some serious trouble, but Champa will do anything to get back in this. <laughs> Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Into the barricade. What's that all about? He's not ready for it to be over yet, Cole. We got a long way to go. Driven into the barricade. Right to the leg. Every ounce of momentum is now against him. Yeah, and he keeps struggling to slow the opposition down. So much damage inflicted. Interrupting the count. Probably looking to deal some more damage. That was nasty. Stomping. And Champa hits back. Tommaso managing to get some control back now. Tommaso was getting grinded down, but it might have just made him stronger. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. He turns it around. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announced desk. How do you survive this? This is ridiculous. Is this a match or a demolition derby? Judging by the destruction, it might be both. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. That stops the count, so this match will roll up. He'll head to the ring. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Champa trying to shake the cobwebs, but it might be too late. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's seven. 
It's getting close. Eight. I can't believe it. Tommaso Ciampa has been dethroned. And now it's time for him to say goodbye to his precious stripey. Maybe he doesn't want to. He doesn't seem too happy about it, but apparently Ciampa is ready to accept this loss. He wasn't ready to accept this loss. Oh my God, what's he doing with those steel steps? I think we've seen this before in Champa's epic battles with Johnny Gargano. Oh no. Fairy tale ending on the steel stairs. The new United States champion could be severely injured. Yeah, he came crashing down face and rib first on those unforgiving steps. And would you look at that? Champa isn't going to part ways with Stripey after all. He's leaving with the United States Championship. Just all around disgraceful actions that we've witnessed here tonight. In any event, stay tuned for updates on the new champion's condition. Here's an update. Not good. I just saw your post. You're stripping me of the title I just won? Yeah, because I just saw your x-rays and you're going to be out for over a month, which is a month without the US championship being defended on Raw. I have no other choice. You never wanted me to beat Ciampa. All you care about is keeping his record-breaking reign going for the brand and ratings. That's my job to care about that stuff. Besides, we wouldn't be having this conversation if you weren't soft. <laughs> That's what you called Ciampa, right? He attacked me after the match. You know, the match where I beat him. Look, you can go to the Performance Center, rehab your injury, then come back at full strength, and you'll most likely have a rematch waiting for you. Most likely? A lot can happen in six weeks. The alternative is you face Ciampa for the championship next week while gasping for air with a chest full of broken ribs, most likely lose, and then maybe never get a shot again. But either way, the title's returning to someone who can defend it immediately at 100%. So what do you want to do? I don't care what you, Ciampa, or anyone else says about being soft. I'm not going to risk my career for one match. I'll be back for my U.S. title when I'm 100%. All right. I'll let the PC know you're coming.
The following contest is a ladder match and is for the WWE United States Championship. Byron Saxon, this man is a true testament to selfishness. It's been a long road to this rematch between Tommaso Ciampa and his opponent, but here we are with the United States Championship literally hanging in the balance. After weeks of uncertainty, Stripey is only one ladder match away from finding a proper home. Injuries have been front and center in this rivalry so far, but both of these superstars are finally ready to prove whose full strength is stronger. Snap suplex. That's one way to use a ladder. Positioning it right in the center of the ring. The only thing left to do now is climb it, Cole. Scaling the ladder now. You know, guys, of the superstars to ever compete in ladder matches, Jeff Hardy holds the record of attendance at 12 appearances and seven victories. Yeah, the closest would be Rob Van Dam at six appearances and five victories. Harlem sidekick! He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Oh, what a fall! Tommaso Ciampa needs to figure out a solution. Ciampa's resiliency is being tested here. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Wow, springboard attack. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. The black heart with a counter. Counter after counter. You have to wonder, how much more can Champa take? This could be his last... Up and down the hard way! Oh, 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 gosh! He's looking to get up that ladder, guys! The long way! And he's closing in on the victory here! Reach out your hand and seize your destiny! Questionable timing of this move, Cole. The combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them leap. Stop in the leg. Both wrists captured. Oh, that was nasty. Yeah. That was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Disheartening situation for the Blackheart. Champa has to weather a storm here. Oh, stomping away. What a counter. Momentum isn't completely out of Champa's side just yet. Tommaso was getting grinded down, but it might have just made him stronger. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Set up now. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, speed with the ladder. And now he's just being pushed around. Yeah, now he has to devise a way back into this. Yeah. Running knee lift. This is a nerve-wracking situation. Oh, 
looks like he's going to try to win this thing right here. Yeah, the setting up the ladder is only half the battle, Michael. You know that. Champa is in some serious trouble. Champa needs to rely on his intensity here. Nasty right hand. Hands it going to the floor. Just a few steps away from victory now. I think it's gonna happen. One good pull, and he's gonna have this match won. No, he's gonna wanna hurry up on that one good pull then. What is taking so long? Pull it down already. Yeah, hurry, hurry. Horns off that move by Champa. No way. And he heads out of the ring, no count. No worries. He's back into the ring. Oh, vicious running knee lift. And just a high proficiency of attacks from him now. Yeah, it's one attack after the other with him. His torso continues to be targeted. That could be disrupting the flow of air at this point. He must have something up his sleeve, setting up the ladder there. Getting the ladder set up right in the center of the ring, a picture-perfect location. Champa needs to figure out a solution. Champa has to weather a storm here. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the ring. Reaching up, this could be it. Looking to make a major statement to the rest of the locker room here, fellas. Yeah, statement's about to be made. Yeah, he's able to stop that search dead in its tracks. He gets up the Great, great move right there in what's a very perilous situation. Closing in on it. Yeah, but he's not there yet. No time to waste. Got to get it down now. Yes, got it. New champion. Here is your winner and the new WWE United States Champion. Stunning! What a turn of events.